Good morning, everyone. It's Divian, and welcome to another week of My Hair Growth due to the lockdown, alongside this week's Your State of the Market, where we give you all of the facts and another fluff. So let's get straight into it. Property house prices continue moving higher and higher. As you can see here, residential house prices have been growing at a phenomenal rate, which is why so many investors are out in force right now, really wanting that growth wave. Sydney property prices have kept moving higher, up another 0.4%, up 19.7% over the last year. Melbourne house prices rose another 0.2%, up 11.8% over the last 12 months. Brisbane house prices have increased 0.4% over the last week and 18.6% over the last year. Don't get me wrong, it will slow down eventually, but will it really dip? We say no, because over the medium and long term, the market will do what it's always done, and that is to grow. Just look at the historical data. There are so many, if only, stories from would-be investors who didn't take the plunge, and we don't want you to suffer from analysis paralysis as well. At JR Prosperity Partners, we will support you in the, making the right investment decision for your unique circumstance and future goals. So, if you do want to ride this wave, get in touch with us today because we have properties right here in Sydney from 550k that you don't need to bid on, you don't need a six-figure deposit for, and you don't need to be earning a top-tier income to get into. So, let me know in the comments below, or send me a DM, and let's talk. Again, supply cannot keep up with demand for own occupiers, investors, and first home buyers. In fact, for every new property coming onto the market for sale, 1.4 properties are sold in Australia, which shows just how much of a decline of stock we have right now. Further, fueling property value growth once again is that ever-growing sense of FOMO in the market as well. And lastly, have you ever wondered what housing prices would look like if the pandemic never happened? Because when you think back to March 2020, when the pandemic officially hit Australia, everyone, and I mean everyone, was preparing for the worst. But guess what? It never came. In fact, the opposite happened, which is exactly what we predicted in this video here, which you can watch on our YouTube channel. So, how do we compare today to what could have been in a COVID-free world? Surprisingly, we are actually in a better position right here, right now. And that's due to many things, such as the cash rate, government incentives, and so on. If you want to find out more, check out the article in the comments below. That right there, that's your state of the market. If there's anything else you would like to give us um, an update on, or as I said earlier, if you want to see how we can help you reduce your annual tax bill, pay off your mortgage faster, or significantly add wealth to your property portfolio, especially during this pandemic, please leave a like and comment below. Or simply send me a DM and I'll get in touch. Till next week, stay safe everyone. We'll see you next Monday for another update on your state of the market.